And I've realized that there's two primary things that factor into successful people. It is their character and it is their skills. Now there's lots of little things that help out along the way, but fundamentally everything falls into either a character trait or a skill. It is who you are and what you can do. I ran across a quote by Thomas Jefferson that he wrote in a letter to John Adams 200 years ago. It said, there is a natural aristocracy among men, the grounds of which is virtue and talent. What he was saying was, in the old world, you got to the top, you became the aristocracy based on who you were born to. But in America, in America, there's a natural aristocracy that occurs, and the grounds of which virtue, talent, character, skills. Everything falls into who you are and what you can do. And we're going to do a little exercise, and you're going to find this out. Now, when we come up with a word, I'm going to say the word, and you're going to tell me, in unison, voice vote, is it a character trait or skill? You're going to say character, or you're going to say skill. Okay, so let's just get a little practice. I'm going to say one, two, three, you're going to say character. Then I'm going to say one, two, three, you're going to say skill. Okay, just a little voice vote here. Okay, one, two, three. Character. Very good. You follow instructions. Terrific. One, two, three. Okay, perfect. So, let's just walk through these things and let's just ask, how about you? What's, what's, a, what's a characteristic of someone who's successful? Someone determination. determination. Character trait or skill? Character. Very good. How about you? You need to have a passion. Passionate. Character. Ability to overcome adversity. Uh, overcoming adversity. Maybe tenaciousness, right? Okay, tenaciousness. Character. Global tech solutions. Global tech solutions. <laughs> There's a guy looking for free software. All right. How about you? Right here. Positive mental attitude. Positive mental attitude. Character. Motivation. Motivation. Character. They don't feel failure. They don't feel failure. Character. Character. All right. Time management. Time management. Skills. Very good. Find a mentor. Find a mentor. Skills. Yep. Skill. I'm not paying attention. You're not paying attention. Okay, here we go. Are you... Listening skills. Okay. Here we go. Goal setter. Goal setter. Skill. Very good. How about you? Anybody in here? Discipline. Oh, we got our first fight going here. I love this. It always takes a little while, and you got half the room saying character and half the... Let's give it a little bit of thought. What would you say? Character, trait, or skill? Being disciplined. Okay. Now, there is an interesting thing that happens sometimes, and that is something seems on the surface to be a skill. But let me ask you this question. In some skills, is there not an underlying character trait that must precede it? For example, we talked about listening skills. And we go to seminars and we learn about listening skills, right? Okay, listening skills. But isn't there some sort of character trait that precedes that? Like caring what the other person has to say? What about discipline? Sure, you have to manage your time and be disciplined and exert self-control. But internally, isn't there something that takes place first? You have to want to be disciplined. Okay, let's go. Um, the courage to overcome fear. Courage. Character. Control what happens. Control what happens between your ears. Mental discipline. Okay, heard a little bit of both. It probably has a little bit. Taking action. Taking action. What is that? Is that character or skill? Okay, a little bit of both. I heard. Adaptability. Adaptability. Character. Now, see what's happening here is every single one of these is either character, or skill, or it has a little bit of both. I've found I've done this a hundred times. I've never had anybody say, "Well, that's neither." And here's what's most interesting. The more you go through this, I've done it where we've ended up with about 50 of them. We usually write them on a board. We've had like 50, 55, 60. The more you get, the more it goes into the balance of character. Now, isn't it amazing how much we will go and we'll go to a seminar in order to learn skills. And skills are fantastic and you have to have them. You certainly don't want to do what you guys do without skill. But to become successful in life, I found that you have to have both character and skills. How often do we take an internal look at our character and say, what kind of person am I? Now, you have to have both if you're going to become successful. For example, if you have tremendous character and no skill, are you going to be a leader? 
No, you can be a nice guy, nice lady, might invite you over for dinner, you and your spouse might have you watch our kids or something that, you know, feel comfortable with that. Nice person, not going to be a tremendously successful leader. Now, what happens if you are a person who is high skill, no character? You going to be a successful leader? No, you're going to be a politician, right? Now, it is interesting because you can become successful for a time with high skill and low character. Why is that? Because skill is the first thing you see. It takes me a while to determine your character, but it takes me 15 minutes probably sitting around a table to determine your skill. And you can lead for a while. I always call myself an equal opportunity, nonpartisan political basher. So let's just talk about two people who race to the highest level uh, of the land, the highest office in the land. Tremendously skilled people undone by their character. The first Democrat that comes to mind is probably Clinton, right? Okay, but for those of you who are saying, hey, wait a minute, there's lots of Republicans, same thing. Let's talk about Republican. Go back a few terms before that. Nixon. Tremendously skilled, brilliant people, undone because ultimately people said, wait a minute. See, people don't follow people that they can't trust. And if we can't develop a relationship of trust with other people, eventually it's undone.